Olha que coisa mais linda, What mais cheia de day graça. here in Via, Brazil. I love Brazil. And the food is going to be unbelievable. I'm talking to Rafael and he is the incredible head chef. What's the first dish? So today I'm going to show you some Brazilian dishes. So I have like three dishes to show it to you. Mm -hmm. So the first one is going to be the muqueca. It's a very popular dish. Oh, muqueca, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's from the north of the Brazil. Yes. So you have like two kinds of muqueca. One is the north, you have like a, the oil palm tree. Is the oil, you get a, it's very strong oil, come from the palm. Is it uh, spicy? It's, no, it's not, not spicy. but it's very strong, yeah. tasty. Right. And that's the difference you have in, in the both uh, moqueca. One, you have it, the oil palm tree, the other one it, from the south, you don't have it. Right. Now yes. let me ask a question. Now the Mukeka is would be Bahia when you say north? Yeah, so like yeah. I say, the north from Bahia, we use it, the oil palm tree. Right. Unbelievable. <laughs> I remember. The, for, for, for me, the Bahiana Mukeka Bahiana is the best one. Ah. <laughs> ah. Let's start it. The first thing I started with the oil. Right. So I'm going to drop just a little. The pot has to be a little. Really hot. Yes. Yeah. So, so you see the steam coming yes, up. Yes, here you go. That's enough. Not too much because you're gonna, you see, uh, you smell the, the flavor is very strong. And flavor. the color changes too. Yes. Between like three, four minutes because that one is gonna take a little longer to, to get hot. The other stuff is gonna be the, the onions, onions. Red onions. Yes, red, red onions. onions. Yeah. And they're kind of sweet, which is nice. Yes. I red like onion, red onions. A little garlic. Oh. Get a nice flavor as well. Oh, wonderful. Fresh here garlic. You go. I gotta have uh, some two kinds of peppers, oh, bell yes. peppers, the, green and red. The green I had, and no yellow. No yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Here you go. Oh my God, how fantastic! Yes. But everything yeah. is so fresh. That's what I like. Every dish is made every, fresh. Right now, I'm gonna have the fish. What kind of that fish one is, is that? The one is a For the mukek, it have to be uh, a firm fish. A firm fish. Yeah, yes. to, because it's gonna steam, so you have a. To don't get a like a, destroy the fish, you have to be like a, a little firm, like a sword fish is do right. that well. Uh, tilapia you can use if you don't have it like a extra money to spend, you right. can do with tilapia, it's right. gonna work as well. You know what I love about it? The people in Brazil they go right out to the fishermen as they bring the fish in and get it fresh. Yes. Yeah, which is fantastic. <laughs> so I'm gonna season with a little salt, mm -hmm. a little pepper. That always helps every dish. Yes. Yeah. And, and how long do you cook it, by the way? It's gonna take it between 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes yes. for fish? Yes. That's exceptional yes. because yeah, usually because fish doesn't take that long. Yes. A little lemon juice. Yeah. And here you go. And that's it? Yes, I'm gonna put a You put the, the whole thing in? Yes. How come you didn't salt and pepper the other side? I'm gonna throw. Oh, when you flip yes, it? Oh, yes, Oh, okay. Because I always so wondered about that. I'm gonna put a little more salt and the vegetables. Right. And you're gonna start with fish broth. This is fish stock? Fish, yes. Oh, okay. Here you go. So I'm gonna drop a little tomato sauce. Ooh. Here you go. But I've had mukeka with shrimp, as a matter of fact. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it. You can do fish, you can fish, do shrimp. Fish, you can do mix. Anything that's seafood. Yeah, right. you can do you can mix, you can use it, plants, mussels. Right. So, whatever you want. Oh. Any kind of fish you can use it. Yeah. Let me clean it's as well. It's in the kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, and for last, I'm gonna put a coconut milk. Oh my God. That's gonna... You use nice a lot of coconut yeah. milk. La you Gamboa. Go. You know that restaurant? Gamboa, yeah. La Gamboa. Here you go. And do you stir this or just let it cook as it's yes, like I, I, I leave it to, Yes, I leave it to steam for a couple of minutes. After that, uh, I stir. Cilantro. Yes, it should get a nice, nice flavor. More well. flavor. Yes. So, here you go. They're all custom dishes, which I think is fantastic. <laughs> Definitely. Here you go. You know, when you come here, it's a memorable experience because it's like being in Brazil all over again. I love it. Here you go. And a little more, a little more salt to get a, a nice flavor. If it's over, it's gonna take a little less. That's the one, camarão abacaxi. Abacaxi. Shrimpy, yeah, shrimpy pineapple. pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. Abacaxi. Yeah. Yeah. You speak Portuguese as well no, or not? No, no, fala nada. Love some more. No, fala nada. <laughs> no, fala nada. Ah. <laughs> and what does this dish consist of? So, that dish is like uh, latin. 
Latin, Hispanic, what? dish because it, it's not a, actually a Brazilian dish. Brazilian dish, but uh, we serve in North as well, in Ceará. It's very popular there. Is it on the beach that you do? I think with the pineapples. Yes, they yeah. serve on the beach. It's yeah. got a more tropical dish. So Olive they oil. don't actually cut the shell of the pineapple. It's just scooping it out. Yes, right? just scooping out. Okay. We're gonna start with olive oil. I'm gonna put a, a little onions. Chopped onions, Chopped white onions. onions. That's yes. good. Good for flavor. It's starting. Oh, and Cameroon. Yes, yeah. it would be Cameroon. And so, does it depend on the size of the shrimp? Because this is sort of a medium-sized shrimp. Yeah, you, the, the size of the one, you say 16, 20. I don't know what that means. Yes, so when you get the, the bag, you know when you buy the, the shrimp. Oh, because you're buying wholesale, it's totally different. Yes, yes. From sure, going to but, a regular uh, store. Is the, like, but uh, I'm going to say the trophy. When they say 6 to 20, is 60 a 20 piece of shrimp per pound. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Uh, now I get it. But this is a medium size yes. uh, shrimp. Yes. Okay. Would you ever use larger shrimp for this? Or no, no, medium size. Medium, size, yes. Always. So I'm going to season with salt and pepper. Of course. A, a little. And you have garlic you're putting juice. in later? No. No garlic in no, this? No. Oh, okay. Because I put garlic in everything. <laughs> and then drop into the pot. I'm gonna cook it for a little, not too much. No, shrimp, first of all, it takes yes. like a minute to cook. Yes, that's why. So it has yeah. to be very fast. Yeah. I give it a little char right. very quickly. It's like probably a minute. Yes. The whole between, thing. Between that one's a medium size, it's gonna take like a one third two minutes. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, wonderful. I'm gonna drop a heavy cream. Uh huh. A little coconut milk as well. Because it's tropical dish, so. Now you have cream and coconut milk. Yes, both. And a little tomato sauce. Right. Now you're making it Italian. That one we call asafron, but uh, it's not the original one. Well, what is it? It's like, uh, you call asafron? I don't know. Saffron. What that is. Oh, saffron, yes, yeah, of course. But uh, it's, it's a mix of condiment. But that one is from Brazil. It's not a, the original saffron. Oh, I see. Okay. It's, you gotta like it. Saffron, curcuma, other other spicery. Right. And you call a saffron, but uh, oh. actually it's not a saffron. Oh, it's, okay. But it gives a color. Yes, yeah. it's gonna give the color. Yeah. So I'm gonna do like it, some shakes to get a nice color. No, I, but uh, it's have a flavor. Yeah. Flavor. So I'm gonna stir it for a while. But you know what I love about all these dishes? They're quick. Yes, you don't have to spend cool. all day no, chewing it to, and whatever. Because uh, when you get a busy, it's very fast. So oh, yes. Five minutes, you're already saying the plate. Oh, yeah. Fast. And, uh, yes. And right here, you have uh, the heart, uh, heart, heart of palm. Uh, uh, the heart of the palm. Yes. Corazón. Corazón. <laughs> and pineapple. Nice. It's ready. And it's, little, the whole little, thing is ready? With yes. The, a little salt, just to... So the, the uh, palm doesn't have to cook at all? No, it's already cooked, so yeah. we don't, we oh, don't okay. have to cook it. Oh, good. Yes. So that's the whole meal? Yes. And did you serve it with rice? Rain rice. Yeah. White rice. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I'm starting putting the sauce first. Oh, wow. Yes. Here you go. What does that do to the pineapple? Uh, the hot sauce. Sorry. What does the hot sauce do to the pineapple? Does hot, it hot sauce? This oh. sauce in here does that do something special to the pineapple? No, no, no? just for decoration. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm gonna put the shrimps. And per dish, you use what? Sh uh, six shrimp? Six shrimp for a dish. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice and nice portion. Oh yeah. Here you go. Very healthy portion. <laughs> here you go. Very beautiful. Huh? Oh God, yeah. Huh? Lovely. Here you go. Lovely. Here and that's go. the other dish. That's it. Wow. And what do you call this dish again? In, in Portuguese, we call uh, camarão abacaxi. Abacaxi, because yes. of pineapple. Parsley. Oh, to get nice. A little, Color. a little charm. Little charm. <laughs> Here you go. That's a fried a little, parsley. Color, right. Yes. Fried parsley. Right. Here you go. Ready to serve. <laughs> Chasing wild ass. 
Oh, it's not what you're thinking. It's all about my travel around the world. I have interspersed photos and recipes to whet your appetite and allow you to dream and discover and rediscover these faraway destinations. The title came about while we were in Koch Wild Ass Sanctuary chasing jackasses in Gujarat, India. Chasing wild ass is food for the soul. It's adventure, it's history, it's culture, it's culinary, and it's a lifestyle. Chasing wild ass will entertain you and massage your soul. It's a celebration of life. You have to live every moment as if it's your last. My world is your world. So remember, get up, get out, and travel. We're back, and Raphael's preparing some fabulous dishes. That's your... What's the next one? That's our most popular dish from Brazil. That's a national dish. What? What is it? Oh, oh I know, you know. I know. I feijoada. Feijoada, like all the Brazilians. You, you know, I said feijoada. It's like the people in Brazil. You've got the Indians, the Europeans, so, the Africans, yeah, the Spanish. The, the, it's everybody. Actually, yeah, actually, it's a African dish. It's original from from Afri Africa. Yeah. But uh, you bring from Brazil, and right now we are. Well, look at all the Africans that have come into. Yeah, it has the largest see, population outside Bahia, of Africa. You can see a lot. How to make a feijoada is very is very long, so it's taking like between five hours to, to oh, make forget a, about yes, it. Yes, to make a nice feijoada. But uh, I have all my meats right here. It's already pre cooked, so I have. A, Ooh, what is this one? It's a ribs, uh, pork ribs, pork ribs, pork belly, pork belly. Uh, sausage. You have like uh, two kinds of sausage. One is a uh, calabresa. It's a regular sausage. So it is pork, no? Yes, all kind of pork. Everything is pork? Uh, no, we have it, the turkey, the oh, carne seca. Oh, interesting. Yes, right here. Oh, I see. Uh, and what's the last one? That's the ears the, oh, the from ears. the pork. Yes. Better to hear you with. <laughs> <laughs> right here, you have the, the tail from that, the pork as not, well. That's and not the, the foot. foot. Oh, the foot. You we have the foot too. Both the tail and, and foot. Oh, wow. Over here the foot and right. over here the tail. That's a little pig. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little foot. That's so, fantastic. So you put all of these in this pot. Yes. With, so that's the point. So every meat have a different type of cooking. So right. we start with the food. We have we take a little longer to cook. So you prepare like these in advance. Yes. Which yes, is good. Yes. Because we don't have five hours. No. No <laughs> way. No way. The, all, the food is gonna take two hours to to yeah. get. Right. Nice and cooked. So, but when you prepare it this way, it only takes a few minutes because you have this already pre-done. Yes, pre yes. But I, as well, I have to cook for like thirty minutes to start and get a uh, a nice flavor. flavor. Yes, 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 of course, wonderful. So we're right here I'm gonna start and make the fish water. A little olive oil. Right. And it's so great to use these pots, which contain the, the heat, the maintain yes, the heat. Yes, maintain the heat. Yeah, I love so, that. Right here, I have the garlic. <laughs> That's what again? Garlic? Garlic, yeah. It's a different color, because normally garlic is white. It's, it's already a little oxidating. Oh, oh, I see. The oxidation yeah. causes it to change color. Yes. Oh, so now it's changing back, actually. Yeah, it's, going, going back. Yeah, right. That's interesting. Here you go, nice and brown. I'm going to drop the onion. Fresh white onion. Yeah, it's white onion. Chop oh, it. wonderful. Here you go. And it doesn't take more than a second for that to cook. 30 seconds. Yeah. Here you go. And then you start throwing in the different meats. I'm, go I'm gonna throw all the meats because uh, feijoada is all the meat to Of handle. course. So I'm gonna start the ribs, the pork belly, the turkey. Oh. Here you go. The sausage, two kind of sausage. They give another piece in there. Ooh, you can't left nothing. <laughs> 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 Let's mix it just a little. Right. The sausage, two kind of sausage. Here you go. Let's throw the ear. Better to hear you with. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Does that mean you hear better when you eat the ears? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> hey. The last, the food and the the tail. The foot and the tail. Yes. Wow. Hey. Nobody ever uses the whole animal, do they? You can use it. You can yeah. use it. When well, you're making a big. Yes, yeah, you can use yeah. the whole animal. For the fresh yeah. you can use the fish whole animal. Up, right. And you right here have the beans. Oh, the black beans. Yes. I love black beans. <laughs> 
Unbelievable. Beautiful. And this is a dish that you do every day? Or yeah, every, every day. Every day. Because usually it's a Saturday dish. Yeah, yeah. All Wednesday or Saturday, people actually eat it. Yeah. But uh, we're here have it every day. Every day. And also, I, when I was in Bahia, they said only in on Saturdays that you they do eat, the, yes. the fresh, uh, in, fresh act, water. In Brazil, actually, you keep in doing like this. So yeah, yeah. you only eat it on Saturday but, or Sunday. Well, that was in the hotel. I don't know about in someone's <laughs> home, but in the hotel, they said that only on Saturdays they have the fresh water. It's a very strong food, I think, oh, for, yeah. the, for the day, so... Muy macho! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna throw everything. I'm gonna stir just a little. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it cooking for like uh, five minutes, and you're ready to serve. It's called uh, instant feijoada. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and for the feijoada, you have like uh, three, four sides. It's like a complement for the feijoada. You have the collard greens, oh, the yes. orange, farofa, you have a, a spicy sauce, and yeah. And, and also hot pepper. Hot pepper, yes, yes, of yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much. This has thank been fantastic. You. Raphael has prepared the most wonderful dishes. I'm so excited. I can't wait to taste them. And I love the origin of all the food from Brazil, you know, as this being an African dish, you know, inspired yes. by the Africans. And you, you bring it from Brazil. Absolutely. <laughs> There's nothing better now than that. Now it's now. Yours now. <laughs> thank you. So. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> I am so excited to be here at Via Brazil and I'm sitting here with Luis Gomez and he is the owner, the proprietor, he knows everything and the food is fantastic. So Luis, let's talk about the food and Brazil of course, my, one of my favorite destinations. Everybody always says, what's your favorite destinations? And I usually say, Brazil. Beautiful. Because that was my first destination. Yeah, the what? You have a good taste. Of course, of course. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're going to share some of the great foods of Brazil. That's and, right. And uh, what is its first dish, as a matter of fact? This dish is uh, called muqueca. Muqueca, muqueca. yes. It's uh, fish stew with uh, tomato, light tomato sauce, collard greens uh, in the side. We have the, uh, the onions, tomatoes, green peppers. And garlic. And, uh, and uh, palm oil. Right. And, uh, coconut milk and uh, some cilantro on top, and uh, let's taste and see how do you like that. Well, you know, is this, would you say that this is uh, inspired by uh, Africa, as a matter African, of fact? Uh, yeah, it's an African, African dish. Yes. Yeah, That's but right. also it's made just not with just fish. Sometimes they do shrimp, they do different things. You can do a combination of shrimp and fish or lobster. Right, oh, yeah. how yes. fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, it's seafood. But it's basically. all seafood, yeah. Yes. Right, and it's always fresh. That's what's so wonderful. As I was watching the chef. Little, you know, the fish has to be a little hearty. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I was watching the chef, and he did these dishes, and very simply, in a couple of minutes, you don't have to wait all day for them, and it's fresh, and that's what's wonderful. That's what the Brazilian food is about. It's a comfort, fresh, honest food. It's not a you know, five-star restaurant, not a Michelin star, but it's a comfort and honest and fresh. It's honest food. That's right. That's and wonderful. Yeah. That is so fun. Let's taste this. Okay. I mean, the hearty fish, I understand the chef said yes. he uses a hearty fish. That's right. And it, not only does it look terrific. Okay, let's see if it will taste good. I hope you enjoy. Do you usually put it over rice? You put a little rice on top, yes. Yeah. And uh, we have a no. little... Uh, that's, that's perfect, that's perfect. That's a little spicy that goes with that. Oh good. I like spicy, like a as a matter of fact. Yeah, I like okay. spicy. Some people don't like spicy, but I'm crazy about spice. Anybody, especially by here, that you've been to by here, you know how food is Oh there. my god, it's, it's amazing. Very spice, very oh spice god. there. But I do not do spice here because most of the people, you know, they, they love the meat on the side. You know, oh, they yeah. can add how much they like. You know. Here you go. But you know, also in Brazil, they and by year, as a matter of fact, the fish, the fishermen come back to the port, the shore, and the people race out and they buy fresh fish, and it's marvelous. Right there, every morning, you know, the, uh, all the restaurant chefs it goes right there by the, uh, the, the ocean. The freshest, and, yep, and right. they pull the gills back so they can see how fa fresh the fish is. Yeah, the, the coast of it, the, the coast of Brazil is pretty big. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. All different fishes in there. It's absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to get this in my mouth. 
it, if I can. <laughs> it's only fresh herbs. Oh my God. Amazing. Mm. You can feel you the like freshness. My, I'm glad that you enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. You know what I love is, you know, the, the, it has also a great bouquet, you know. The fish, it's the fresh. fresh. Is mm. And the, the coriander makes it all close you? to your health and your health. Oh, absolutely. Saúji. Saúji. Like we say in Brazil. Saúji. <laughs> <laughs> and a caipirinha, mm -hmm. a typical Brazilian drink with yeah. cachaça, lime, and sugar. The national Perfect. Brazilian drink. Mm -hmm. mm. I could drink that all day. <laughs> Lemonade. It's funny because um, when I was in Ipanema the last time, I'd have a caipirinha, i go to sleep, i wake up, have another caipirinha, go to sleep. At the end of the day, I got a bill. I don't know what I had, but it was so good. Yeah, and <laughs> take one for sleep, one to wake up. <laughs> have another one. <laughs> the weather is so beautiful there. Oh, my nice God. and warm. Oh, it's, and it's fabulous. Yeah. You know what they told me in Bahia? They said we have two kinds of weather. Mm -hmm. We have hot and rainy. Where do you the come from? I'm from Minas Gerais. Oh, Minas Gerais, yes. okay. Yeah. Isn't that where the jewels or the stones yeah, are from? Yeah, that's right, yeah. But you know what happens, Brazil, which being the largest country in South America, in South America is right. so amazing because you have so many different pockets. Saúji. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should go to the second dish now. Okay. Louis, this is a beautiful dish. It's um, an abacaxi, which is pineapple. Pineapple, yes. And what is the dish called? Uh, shrimp and a pineapple sauce. That's it? Yes. Oh. With different things. Uh, you taste it, you see, you have a saute with, the, with some uh, fresh herbs again. You have the uh, uh, light tomato sauce, uh, coconut milk again, and uh, that's it. A lot of coconut milk yes. is used in Brazil. Yeah, uh, influence from, uh, African influence from uh, this, you know, from Bahia. Now, do they have any influences from Europe, as a matter of fact? Portuguese, uh, and, and also even the Indians. Japanese. What Indians, about the Indians as well? Indians, Portuguese, right. even Russian. We have a dish in Brazil with the, uh, with the uh, really? uh, stroganoff. It's very big in Brazil. Wow, yeah. amazing. So it's an influence of all different uh, cultures and countries. And, yeah. It's feijoada. That's what makes it interest. It's feijoada, yeah, it. which is everything. <laughs> <laughs> everybody and everything. How fantastic. We don't leave anybody out. Right. Well, that's perfect for me. Okay. Thank you. And then you take it to the wall. Oh, we got to have some of this. Oh, this is the hot stuff. This is good. The ammonia. The that's going to be a very hot yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Pimento. Pimento malagueta. Mm. I need a sip of caipirinha to to make it a little softer. <laughs> Saúji, tell me about the different regions in terms mm -hmm. of spice. What, what part is hot? Is it going to be the southern part of? The north. The north the is north hot? Is spice. That's yes. really yes. weird because it's the Salvador, opposite. Salvador, you've been to Salvador. You know yeah. how hot it is there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, most of the other the, the states, they, they, they make, it all depends how you know. The, the, most of the restaurant they ask you, should they make spice or not spice? So I'll bring on the side, whatever. Mm. But uh, the region there is from uh, north of Brazil, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, I must say that it, that is really, yeah. really hot. Taste the wrong one. Taste the wrong one. I think I just had one of those, yeah. but I'm not sure. And maybe the oil as well. Tell me about the restaurant. You've been here for, what, 45 years? The restaurant's been here since 1978. Mm. And, uh, Went to a lot of, you know, headaches that uh, oh, I'm sure to survive is not easy in the restaurant business. Means uh, 400 years probably in the human age, human age. <laughs> <laughs> But that says uh, a, that says a lot. And I enjoy, you know, like people, and uh, I met a lot of good friends, a lot of good people. It's like yeah. a party all yes. the time. I'm so excited because feijoada is a dish. It's a national dish of Brazil and it includes all the different kinds of meat and beans and just, you know, Luis is going to tell me all about it. It looks so delicious and it's so special and it's topped with all of these wonderful uh, side dishes. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Tell me more about this feijoada. Feijoada is a dish that uh, was a peasant food back in the colonial days. And uh, it's made with two parts of the pigs. 
the, the ears, the, the feet, ears, the whole the works. Belly, the big knuckles. Uh, nothing goes to waste. No, nothing goes <laughs> to waste. And uh, today, sophisticated, uh, but in Brazil, they usually have an Wednesdays and Saturdays in Brazil. Not a here via Brazil is such a demand for the dish that we have every single day. You know? Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. But this dish is something you do here on Wednesdays and Saturdays. No, no, every single every day. Every day? Yes. It's so special yes. though. Yes. It's special because you can't get this in other restaurants anymore. Uh, very rarely. Because yeah. most of the, the restaurants today in uh, New York is a uh, churrascaria. So they oh, yeah. that. So let's taste the, this as a matter of fact. And what is this, by the way? This farofa, which farofa. is a yucca flour mixed with the little eggs and... Uh, oh, you know, nice. Yes. And then this dish? This orange goes with that and the collard greens. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a whole combination here. I've never seen, it looks more like spinach, the collard greens. Yeah, the collard greens are very healthy. Uh, oh, yes. Here, let me, let's put it for you here, a little taste. You're familiar with fish, by the way. Oh, oh for sure. Shall I give you some collard greens? Collard greens, yes. A little bit of everything there. And most essential is the, uh, the spice there. A little, little rice for you. Thank you. This dish is a uh, comfort. Let's see, what are we you know, missing? At, uh, nice at the, at the winter time, you know. You have a and then we put this on the meat? We put this on yes, the meat? Yes, they put it on top of that. That's where it goes. Oh my God. Oh, even these don't taste like collard greens. They don't taste like yep. collard greens. We have a little garlic in there. That's why. So they have garlic in That's why. Because in my friend's restaurant, which is a southern restaurant, mm -hmm. southern United States. They break it? Yeah, it's, the, the pieces are sliced that wide. You oh, know. no, this is the, that's the Brazilian way. This is like this kind of thin. Yeah, very thin. Yeah. Home. Like my mother, the rest in peace. She used to cut like a thin, thin like a hair. Unbelievable. Yeah. I love all the pork mm -hmm. and, and everything that's in it, you know? Oh, the pork belly. I must say the food here, from my experience, has been sensational. I'm glad and very happy. Yeah. And I thank you so much. This has been such a wonderful experience here at Via Brasil. And Louis, I want to say that it brings me back to Brazil from all the memories that I have from 1967 Thank you. Thank you. when I first went to Brazil. Saúde. God bless. I'm John Haggins, and this is the Taste of New York. And I'm sitting here with Louis Gomez, and he has been a wonderful host, and I can't wait. We'll see you at the next destination. So long for now. Moça do corpo dourado